Hi, this is Pete Taylor. The crowd on its feet. I've seen it all today. Cyclones are going to win their second Big 12 championship outright. March 3rd, 2001, Ames, Iowa. The Cyclones needed one more win to clinch back-to-back -back Big 12 championships. Nebraska put up a good fight, but in the end, the Huskers were no match for Jamal Tinsley. The Big 12 Player of the Year scored 23 of his career-high 29 points in the second half. And with each big play by Iowa State's talented point guard, you could sense that Pete Taylor and Eric Heft knew that Tinsley was not about to be denied another Big 12 championship. Iowa State taking time off the clock. Tinsley with a move on fields up and good! Jamal Tinsley with another bucket. 77-69, 147 to go. Augustine to his right, on the move. Inside, knocked away, Bradford's got it back. Jump blocked by Shirley. Tinsley's got it. Down court, off the glass, good! Jamal he has taken this game over. It's 79 to 69. Oh, this place is now a madhouse with 118 to play. And Horton's got it. 42 seconds to Tinsley. Drives up. Good! He's fouled. The basket counts. Jamal Tinsley putting on a clinic. And man, that ought to do it, Eric. 83 71. He'll go to the free throw line. I think Larry and Stacy wanted him to pull it out, but Jamal knew there were two points on the end of that play, and now maybe three. What a performance by Jamal Tinsley. He saved the best for last, Eric. When they needed it the most, he came up the biggest. Cyclones are going to win their second Big 12 championship outright. Well, Eric, an incredible individual performance by Jamal Tinsley in that game against Nebraska to allow Iowa State to cut down the nets. 23 points in the second half, and he did take over that game, literally. Uh, he did. He, he was an unbelievable player, you know, and, and not a guy who was known as a scorer necessarily, but if he, he had to get points, he would get points. You know, you, you go back two years that Jamal and Cantrell Horton played, uh, never lost a game at Hilton Coliseum. You know, won back-to-back -back Big 12 championships, you know, unbelievable run. Uh, but he was the guy, and I think it's borne out by his long NBA career, but he's the guy that could make plays that uh, very few in this league have ever been able to make, uh, but a clutch performer, uh, great play at the end of the game. Nebraska really hanging in there. Cookie Belcher, I think he was all defensive team in the Big 12 three or four times, and he, they put him on uh, Jamal, couldn't stop him, and I just remember that basket, you know, you had that feeling something good was going to happen, and it did. Well, in that season, Eric, to come back and win another Big 12 championship, I think a lot of people thought Iowa State was a flash in the pan with Pfizer, but to come back and defend it, amazing. Well, well to, lose, to lose Marcus Pfizer, I mean, that was huge. Uh, but you also lost Stevie Johnson, and you also lost Mike Nurse. And those two guys were really key contributors, too. So to put it back together again, you've got to have some glue. And certainly Jamal and Cantrell, those guys were the glue that really made it happen again. Well, Pete had so many favorite players at Iowa State through the years, but I think Jamal Tinsley has to be right up there toward the top, don't you? Absolutely. We talked about it many times. And watching Jamal, uh, the ball was on a string when he had it. You know, he was, you know, he, he would make turnovers, commit turnovers at times. He never turned it over in the last five minutes of a close game. Uh, he, he knew when to try something risky and when not to. Uh, a joy to watch, and uh, uh, he had that swagger. Not too many guys could back up calling Allen Fieldhouse just another gym. He did, he did. Let's uh, take a look at the uh, clincher, so to speak, against Nebraska here at Hilton Coliseum with Pete Taylor on the call. Iowa State taking time off the clock. Tinsley with a move on fields up and good! Jamal Tinsley with another bucket. 77-69, 147 to go. Augustine to his right on the move. Inside, knocked away, Bradford's got it back. Jump blocked by Shirley. Tinsley's got it. Down court, off the glass, good! Jamal Tinsley! He has taken this game over. It's 79 to 69. Oh, this place is now a madhouse with 118 to play. And Horton's got it. 
42 seconds to Tinsley, drives up, good! He's fouled, the basket counts! Jamal Tinsley putting on a clinic. And man, that ought to do it, Eric. 83-71, he'll go to the free throw line. I think Larry Stacy wanted him to pull it out, but Jamal knew there were two points on the end of that play, and now maybe three. What a performance by Jamal Tinsley. He saved the best for last, Eric. When they needed it the most, he came up the biggest. Cyclones are gonna win their second Big 12 championship outright.